Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery. That is what a homeowner up north hears almost every day, just outside her window near Ute Pass. They've turned their property into a motorcycle go-kart race course, and I deal with excessive noise for hours and hours a day. The track, she says, opened earlier this year. Now she wants to know if her neighbors are violating the county noise ordinance. The county is following up. The two biggest general funds in Summit County are shrinking, but only after two years of unexpected growth. Town of Breckenridge is budgeting $46.8 million next year. That's down about $800,000 from this year. Summit County's budget is $36.5 million, down nearly $8 million. And the cost of business is going up. Finance Director David Reynolds. We are also seeing significant increases on the expense side, uh, just general cost of goods. Sales tax revenues in Breck and the county hit historic highs this year. And the county expects more growth, as much as 5% next year. Breck expects to lose revenue from sales and real estate transfer taxes. Now, real estate pros are trying to answer, what comes after the COVID market boom? Steve Fisher, president for Summit Association of Realtors. There is going to be a pullback, and there is going to be, you know, people migrating again. Realtors met with Summit County commissioners today and pitched them on policy reform, meant to help the housing crisis and short-term rental investors. For realtors here and across the nation, fundamentally this issue is about private property rights. You know, where do those property rights end with, with these types of regulations? Realtors want fewer construction fees and more incentives. They also want higher density. Commissioner Tamara Pogue said the county needs water, sewer, and roads first. Do I think we could handle more growth? Yeah, I do. But absent that infrastructure or some ability to pay for that infrastructure, I do think for unincorporated Summit County, there's a there is a real tension there. Commissioner Pogue also explained the county's biggest housing priority right now is stabilization. If we keep losing workforce housing at the rate we are losing workforce housing, we will never catch up. The next priority is new affordable housing. The county has $21 million set aside for next year, including CMC student housing in Breck and more. You ever drive down the road and wonder, who owns that building? We're going to tell you. The Lacima Mall in Breck, home to Empire Burger, Burke and Riley's, and more, is owned by a partnership registered in Aspen. The land and building there are worth $5.8 million. And now you know. Summit County is close to hiring an interim county manager, Philip Gonshek, most recently the chief of police in Seal Beach, California. Commissioner Tamara Pogue. Either of the two candidates that we interviewed are not from Summit County, and there's going to be a learning curve there that we can't ignore um, and need to embrace. And so commissioners agree Gonchak is the best of two finalists with the right mix of leadership, economic, and government experience. The county will make an offer soon. You were invited to the Senior Center in Frisco today for an expert panel on Colorado's water challenges and how Summit fits into the mix. Learn more about drought, aridification, and conservation from local and regional experts. That's tonight for a free panel at 530. Politicians believe water policy will dominate the West for years to come. Local fire danger remains moderate today, still with no fire restrictions here in Summit. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos. At their new location on Airport Road, Summit High Boys Soccer is playing Roaring Fork Away today. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery.